What is going on everybody? Today we're going to be showing you guys how to get all four collectibles and the one backpack trophy from the classified mission, Detention Center Rescue. Now this one, to get into this one, we have to go into the sewers and there is a entrance to it just next to where the door is. So we're going to go down this, this ladder right here and then as soon as you come down this ladder to the left side is where the door is. Now this one is just north of the castle settlement. So that's where you're going to find this classified assignment so once you go up to the door it's going to say mission status incomplete we haven't got any collectibles and we haven't got the backpack trophy but we'll take care of that in this video i will say that the classified assignments from the year one pass were actually a lot of fun to do they always had a really cool backpack trophy that was hidden behind some doors that you had to unlock there was always like a little riddle you had to do and then there was always those collectibles that gave you a little bit more information on the division two right it gave you a little bit backstory to what was going on so that that was always really cool now once we get to this first part you can do this in any order um you can hit that switch nothing's gonna happen what you need to do is shoot these little locks up top and what this is do this is gonna allow you guys to get to the next part so you shoot those down you're gonna turn the valve you know one cool thing that you'll notice is when you do turn this valve you hear like alligator sound or crocodile sound and you could look if you look down there and he takes off <laughs> that's pretty cool so the backpack trophy for this mission is going to be right in front of us if you see where that key card it looks like it's a key card right there is a backpack trophy right there so that's where we need to get to but you won't be able to get that till you get later on into the game so once you make it through the first part you're just gonna you're gonna get into your first encounter with enemies there is going to be a collectible here so what we need to do is clear out this room right here and then i'll show you um where you get your first collectible so now that the room is clear, um, you can search it if you want. There's, it's pretty cool to just look at how well this map was designed. But right in front of us, there's this locked room. You see the collectible right there? There is going to be a yellow box that you can shoot. If you're new to the division, that's probably something new to you. But if you're a vet, you've been playing a while, you'll see those boxes a lot that you shoot and they open up doors. So we shot the box, we pick up the collectible, and that is collectible one of three. Now we can just continue on. You will finally make your way to the cell block areas where that's where you're going to fight a bunch of enemies. You'll kill them. And then this is where we're going to get close to finding our second collectible. So after you clear out this main central area and you get that little notification at the top that says reach to the gym, you're going to get into a room that has an area that says visitation. So this is where the inmates would meet with their loved ones um, and they could talk to them on that little phone across from each other. So there is actually going to be there's going to be a collectible in that room. But we have to head forward a little bit. There's going to be a little yellow box you guys need to shoot to get to the next area. Now, once you shoot this box, and as we continue on, there's going to be the gym to the left where we need to go. And then if we don't go into those doors, we hit straight, there's going to be a door that leads us down the stairs. So as we go down these stairs, there's going to be another door we can open up. So we're going to open up these double doors. There's going to be a weapon crate in there and then the lockers are going to have a key in there they're going to have the visitation key so that's going to allow us to get into that room i got a vanity item too because it's a new account but there you go so we got that um i picked this up just some more loot and then we're going to head all the way back to that visitation room and that room now is going to open up for us so you see the gym's going to be on our right we're going to keep going back And right here, this is the visitation room. So we're gonna interact. And on our right hand side, there's gonna be the next collectible. So we have two of four collectibles. There's nothing else in here, so you can just head back into the gym. So now once we get to those doors, you remember we, we've been passing these doors over and over. We um, passed them once to go pick up the key. Now we're gonna go through those doors and then we'll be in the gym and in the gym this is where we need to protect a prisoner and then he'll give us some information now once you finish protecting him you're gonna head back into the prison and make our way all the way back to the main i guess courtyard you want to say once you get here there's gonna be if you look at the top there's the yellow boxes again so we're gonna have to shoot the one on number two and then it's gonna open up the ones underneath so you're gonna have to find the one on the first level too so we're gonna look for that one it should be on the complete opposite side. We'll be able to shoot that one. And then once we shoot that one, it's gonna open up a door down below. So the yellow box is right there. So 
there you go now the door down below is going to be open so we open we're going to have to hit a switch and as soon as you hit that switch you'll get some enemies that pop up and you kind of know what direction the enemies come from because you'll see on your little radar so just shoot those enemies and then we'll have another area we can get into. So the next area is where we're going to get our next collectible. So you'll get to the next set of gates, if you want to say, the lock gates from the prison. You need to shoot the yellow panel that's going to be right there. You can see it on the screen. Shoot it, and then we're going to continue through these two gates. Now this area that we're going to get into, you're going to have to fight. But you're going to notice right above us, we're going to get portable device located device that's because it's right above us but we can't get it just yet so make sure you guys um clear out all the enemies here and then i'll show you what you need to do before you head forward so once you clear out the area if you go up the stairs that are right where you were you're gonna see a door right there right you can't go in that door but you're gonna be able to shoot um one of those yellow the yellow boxes so we can see our collectibles right there but the yellow boxes you can barely see it but it's right there you shoot it, and then if you look closely, the gates open up. So that means we're going to be able to get that collectible in a little bit. Now you're going to head all the way down. If you clear out this whole area, you need to free the prisoners. So there's going to be a switch for you to do that. And it's really hard to miss. It even says free the prisoners once you um, get right next to it. Now after you do that, it's going to tell you to locate Gonzalez. And there's another switch you need to hit. So you're going to hit that switch too. Once you hit that, you're going to get some enemies spawning and coming towards you so we're about to get into the next area there's going to be a guy on a huge turret shooting you from i want to say that's going to be the fourth level because we were on the second level and then this is going to the third level so he's on the fourth level so he's going to be always one level above you once you get into this next area so just cut through the cells there's going to be a bunch that with the doors open just cut through them and then just stay on the far right side and he won't even touch you there's going to be a couple enemies you want to clear out, so just make sure you clear out those enemies. We're going to be coming back to this room right here later on, but this is going to be underneath the turret. So we just got to make sure we clear out the cell. I think we have like two enemies left. So underneath, underneath these stairs right here. We're gonna go into here. This is gonna, this is, you remember the room that we shot open earlier and we saw that collectible we hadn't got yet? So you're gonna cut all the way down and you're gonna see that the door is open, right? That was the thing that we shot. And then we have a collectible. So now we're three or four collectibles. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna head back to the floor that was under the turret. Now be careful because there are going to be some enemies that spawned since the last time you um, made it all the way over. Unless you cleared them out already. But we didn't clear them out. Now we're going to go into that room that was right under the turret. Even though that we can get to the next level. See we're on level 2. We're going to stay here. We're going to hit this keyboard. And this is going to open up some cell doors that we're going to need to be opened up later on. But after you do that, head up the stairs. And remember there's going to be a guy on that turret. And this is going to be our fourth collectible right here with him. Our fourth collectible. There we go. We're going to open up this door. And if you notice, the cell doors are open right in front of us. Right, right behind us if you're looking right now. So we're going to take a right. Now these wouldn't be open if we didn't hit that button down below. We're going to have to go this way. But we're going to turn around. We're going to cut in here. And if you look, this cell door doesn't have anything. But the one we just looked at had something that we could go in. So we're going to jump down here. It looks like someone had like a little escape. They broke out. We're going to follow this all the way to the very end. Now, once you follow this till you get to a rope, the rope's going to take you down to the room you need to get into. And that room's going to have a gate that's closed off. And then it's going to have like a generator. And then you're going to notice you're going to try to get to another area. And that area is going to be sealed off. Like we're just... We're not going to be able to get there because we need to be able to pump the water out. Because this, this right here pumps the water out of the area we need to get into. So we can shoot off that lock, right? We're able to shoot that lock off. But the generator is not going to work, right? Because there's no power to it. So we got to figure out how we can fix this. 
Now, once we turn on this switch, we'll be able to get into this area, which is full of water. First thing we need to do is we need to shut, shut those vents so no more water is coming into the area. So there's gonna be two vents you need to shoot. So you shoot both of these. There's one and two. So you see there's no more water getting drained in there. Now we have to drain the water out. So we're gonna head back to the other room. So now once you make it back into here, you're gonna notice that there is a little line headed from that like power unit, right? Going into this room. But for some reason we can't get there. But then you're gonna notice that there's a line headed to this box over here. And once we shoot that, what always happens? The door is open, so there we go. So we're gonna take this fuse and we're gonna put it into the generator that's currently not working. So we're gonna add the fuse. And now we can hit the button. There you go. And now it's draining the water out of this area right here. So now we just gotta slide down and then go up the other ladder on the other side. And look what we have in front of us. I know you guys already see it. So we have a server key and then we have a loot box. And there you go. So that is four collectibles and one backpack trophy. Now these are the french fries. So if you guys want to get those, um, this is how you get that collectible right there. Now what this is going to do is going to allow you to interact with this gate. And then we can head all the way back to where we originally dropped down and then continue on with the mission. So now we made it back to the room that had the turret, right? So remember, instead of going to the left, we went to the right to go through the door. But now... Look where we are now. We drop down and we are going to continue on. So there's a little panel there if you want to shoot that. That way you can go through, investigate anything you might have missed. If you guys are watching this after the fact. If you guys haven't collected all of your apparel items from the open world, well, that's where you get a lot of them. Remember, you do cap out though with those apparel items. So if it's a new account, most likely you have. So this one says disable the lockdown. And what you have to do is... It's on a timer, so once you hit the top one, you need to make sure that you hit the one on the second floor. So you're going to hit the one on the third floor and the second floor. But there are going to be some enemies that are coming out, some heavy enemies. There's also going to be a boss that spawns. But yeah, so make sure you hit the locks up top. You should be able to hit the locks on the second floor too. And that should open up all the panels, and that will spawn the boss. And then you just fight the boss. It's pretty easy to do, depending on what build you have. Shouldn't be too hard. Now once you do clear out this area, you need to um, free Gonzalez. So it will tell you um, free Gonzalez. It's going to be on the second floor. There's going to be a panel. And she's going to come out directly in front of you. So she's going to come out of this room. Now a sniper is going to take her out. I know you guys just saw that, but once she takes her out, just finish off the sniper. And then it's gonna say, free the remaining prisoners. And that's really gonna wrap up the, the whole mission. Once you free the prisoners, it's gonna say, leave the mission area. We got one backpack trophy, four collectibles, and this was the complete guide walkthrough on how to complete this mission. And hopefully it helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions on this one still, just let me know in the comment section. I do appreciate the support you guys have been showing the channel. As always, guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Turn notification bell on so when I release a video, you guys always get notified. I will see you guys in the next Division 2 video. But until then, nothing but skills is out.